Everyone, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to another exciting episode of the Filmhouse TV show. And tonight I am at the grand premiere of Catcher the Movie. Now, Catcher is a suspense filled movie about a strong, ambitious woman who gets murdered on her anniversary, making her husband the prime suspect. But a police investigation unearths others who may have strong motives for this murder. Now, I know this movie is definitely going to have everybody on the edge of their seats. So stay tuned today as I give the live updates from all the actors and actresses in the movie right here on the red carpet. Stay tuned. We're fine with the information. If we need you again, we can call you. We will contact you. Yeah? Contact me. Me, I'm already sitting down. You asked me everything. Of course, if I'm coming back, people will give me transport. Tony Bello. Not the woman husband, that. He was one of the last people to see her alive. You seem tense, Mr. Tony. Smoke? I'm not in the mood for all these games, officer. I'm a laughing. Detective. Tell us what happened on Wednesday the 27th. The day that your wife, Mrs. Aviodo Bello, was killed. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying nothing. Everyone will be interviewed in due time. Right now we're focusing on the nucleus of the people in her life while she was alive. And you believe I fall under that category? Why go tell reception and say I'm a suspect? But you be suspect now. You get motive. Me. And you expect me to believe that. You have been lying to me since the beginning of this interview. Why would I want to kill my wife? I loved her. Are you sure, Mr. Blume? You dollar. What do you want to hear? Make I take a good swear. Ross. My God for the time to see my husband kill him. My colleague no get leave at That's what he wants you to think. We have none other than the very dapper Tope Tedella here on the red carpet who plays John O'Coley in Catcher the Movie. So how are you feeling tonight? Uh, I think I'm excited. Yeah, I'm just, um, I'm glad. It's, uh, it's, it, was, it was good work, so I'm glad that finally people can get to see it. But I haven't seen the film, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm eagerly waiting to be surprised as well as other people. So you don't know who committed the murder, you're not sure? No, no I read the screenplay. I read the script, but I just haven't seen the finished product, so yeah, that's... Awesome. So, like, how was it being on set? How was it filming this? It was phenomenal because, I, I mean, the, the cast is amazing. Almost every single member of the cast was lit, was on point. And when you have that kind of energy, when you're working with those kinds of people under those circumstances, um, under, under creatively popping circumstances, you know, made done by the director and every other member of the crew and all, it just has to be good. So it's safe to say it was thrilling and the outcome will definitely be as thrilling. I, I believe so. I, I believe so strongly. Good evening and guess who I have with me here on the red carpet? It's none other than the maker of Bonangwamo Express and now Catcher, the movie premiere, Mr. Walt Banga. Ah, thank you very much. I'm glad to be here. How's it feeling tonight? Are you excited? Are you thrilled? Mm, I'm a bit of both excited about the whole event. Um, thrilled because I think we, do, we did do a good film, but then you know it's a, it's a Nigerian audience that we can never second guess them, so you just pray that they catch everything we did. Get that catch. Uh, I'm uh, I'm ca I'm catch trying. it. <laughs> okay, so can you tell us a little bit about the movie? Um, the movie is a, I'd say it's an, a dark comedy, is the way I'll best describe it. It's about a murder of an ambitious career woman. 
um, June anniversary, who's played by Beverly Naya. And then her husband is the prime suspect, who is Alex Kobo. And then we have um, Osu Keiji and Toppe Tadella, who are the policemen trying to find out who did the crime. And everybody's a suspect. So that's, I mean, that's the beauty of it. So if you can work it out, if you watch Goma Goma Express, you kind of know where I'm going with this thing. So hope. Yeah, and you did very well with the casting. Like the, the, these actors are, you, we trust them to bring it. So oh, they, they brought it. It was Brong. That's guy. No, um, with the with the cast. When we read, read the script, one of one of a great friend of mine said, "Walter, this thing is based on the cast." And when we when we cast it, I think all through, I don't think anybody let me down in that film. I'm literally, I was overwhelmed with everybody's performance, even the people who I just worked with the first time. So it's, no, no, no. I can agree with that. Thank you so much for talking with us today. Have a great evening. All right, bye-bye. Okay, so good evening, guys. How are you feeling this evening? Good, thank you. You look amazing. All right, so are you guys looking forward to seeing this movie? Have you seen anything of, of its kind? Did you watch Bomo Goma Express? Well, I have seen Bomo Goma Express. Um, I'm looking forward to this one. And every all the cast, they're all my colleagues. So I really can't wait. And obviously, Walter is a... He's just a genius at what he does. So I can't wait to see what he's got for this, for Kacha. Well, I've seen Kacha. I so please don't don't Kacha. ruin it for us. And um, it's a beautiful film. It's just one of those films you'll be like, okay, let's see where this goes. And eventually you'll be like, oh, oh. You guys have a great rest of the evening and enjoy the movie. You're welcome. <laughs> The stunning capital of Edo State welcomes the quintessentially modern film house cinema. Welcome to Bini, the heartbeat of Nigeria. Free movies for the first week. Watch this space. Film house cinema, Bini, located at Uboa, opposite Uniban. See it, feel it, be it. My name is Wafai Fada. My name is Sheung Ajayi. My name is Casey Ajilonu. And you are watching the film the House, House TV show. show. A scenario for you here. Since this movie is all about suspense and thrill, you've committed a murder. How do you dispose of the body? So three options. Burn the body, bury the body, or throw it into the lagoon. Burn the body, bury it. Personally, I, I think I'll burn the body, grind the bones, and throw it away to never be seen again. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm scared. <laughs> no, man, I'm cremating that body. I'm burning it, man, burning, no evidence. To the ground. To the ground, yeah, and then, I, and then I'm spreading the ashes in the sea. Throw it in the lagoon is easier. Just throw it there, let it sink. Burying it, you have to start digging. Burn it, set fire, lagoon is better. Just, just throw it. Mm. Uh, burning it will leave evidence. Yeah, there's to be bones. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing it in the lagoon is more likely to, to help you out because uh, the fish will help you out. Oh my God, that sounds so... Burn it. Why? Burn it is forgotten, never existed. Yeah. Great. Are you sure you didn't kill somebody before? Stop it. I raise people from the dead. I don't kill. <laughs> Ah, definitely burn it. I've seen a lot of um, How to Get Away with Murder. So my favorite show ever. Yes. So yeah. burn the hit and her Annalise's husband. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I will burn the body. Got away with it. Yes. Linda and Jeff on How to Get Away with Murder. <laughs> Tune in next week to find out the real answer. Thank you very much. And right here on the red carpet, we have the only witty, funny. Beautiful Wafai Fada. How are you feeling this evening? I feel good. I feel good. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> and you look good. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, it's true. <laughs> Give them a wiggle. <laughs> okay, so how was this process, this movie for you? When like when you first read the script, what went through your mind? What were you looking forward to? Well, the script was too serious for me because I'm used to being funny. So it was suspense, action, police interrogations. I'm like, ah, okay, oh, let me go and do my own. They told me, you know what, 
don't follow the script but understand the story and freestyle and I did and it was a I think your followers would be happy to see that in a different to see you in a different light, see you in a different form. So great. But no matter how serious I act, people tend to laugh. So I don't know what to do anymore. I don't maybe they won't laugh at this one. Let's see. Okay, let's see. We'll see the reaction in the screen. Okay, thank you so much for stopping with us this evening. Have a great evening ahead. Okay, here on the red carpet, we have Kiki Omeli, who is actually one of the cast members in Catcher. And we have Ike Chuku, rapper and actor. Okay, so how are you guys tonight? You look awesome. Thank you very much. I'm doing good. Thank you, Ike Chuku. You know you always make me blush. The lady in red. So hot. So hot. Let's just talk about her. <laughs> we can do that. We'll be here till tomorrow, though. All right, so how was it acting in the movie? When you read the script, what went through your mind? When, it, when I read the script, I'm like, oh my goodness, Walter is at it again. Because, I mean, Ikechi can testify that Walter Banga definitely knows what he's doing film-wise. So um, it was very interesting, actually. I'm like, oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be a part of this. Who did you play in the movie? I played MD, uh, Beverly, Beverly Naya's character's boss. Yeah, that was my character. It was a cameo, actually. All right, thank you so much for stopping here with us, guys. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Bye. Okay, so good evening. Today we have Sean Ajayi right here on the red carpet. How are you today? I'm very well. How Looking suave. Yeah, thank you very much. I like the color. You don't look so bad yourself. Thank you, thank you. I try. <laughs> okay, so how are you today? How are you feeling? I'm feeling very, I'm feeling really good. Um, looking forward to seeing Catcher. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, has some, some of my friends in there, you know. Feeling good. Have you watched Guam Guam Express? Yes, I, I, I saw Guam Guam Express and I'm looking forward to, you know, people always want to raise the bar. When they've done something, they want to do something better. You know, and I think well, Banga is one of those guys who pushes the envelope, um, you know, for the country that's in Nigeria, for the continent. So I'm looking forward to seeing what he will do with this one. So this is going to be twice as nice. I hope so. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, well, have a great evening ahead and thanks for stopping by. We have the very dapper and suave Blossom Chukujiku. Did I get that right? I'm not good with evil. Yeah, you're actually very. Chukujiku. Actually. So, how are you? I teach you the rhythm, though. Okay. It's called Chukujiku. Chukujiku. Oh my God. You got to eat. Wow. <laughs> All right, how are you today? How are you feeling? Ah, uh, nervous as usual. Every single time I want to watch myself, I'm... Oh, that's so humble. You know, humility at, at its best. Oh. <laughs> All right, so have you seen the movie from this movie director before, Bong Bomber Express? Have you? I was in Bong Bomber Express. So. Uh, yo, why do you think I was asking? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm sure you're looking forward to seeing this. You can trust that it's going to be a great piece of work. I mean, Walter. Jeez. It's Walter Banga. <laughs> it's going to be a bang. <laughs> Uh, we have the very, very beautiful Linda Ejio for here with us on the red carpet. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. And you? I'm fine. I'm actually okay. I'm good. All right, so what are you looking forward to seeing in this movie? Have you watched his previous movie before, What Bangers, Bum Bum Express? I have. It's Bum Bum Express, I mean. So, yeah, Walter is going to bring his A-game and it's thriller, right? So, yeah, so anything that has to involve um, you using your brain, your mind to think. Yeah, yeah, so. It's going to keep us on the edge of our seats. My name is Wafai Fadak. My name is Sheung Ajayi. My name is Casey Ejelonu. And you are watching the Film the House, House TV, TV show. show. And you expect me to believe that. You have been lying to me since the beginning of this interview. Why would I want to kill my wife? I loved her. Are you sure, Mr. Brume? Idolo? What do you want to hear? Make I take a good swear. Bros. My God, you need to me seeing her husband kill her. So somebody has been murdered. A young man has been murdered. And somebody has left a note with three words. 
with a pocket pen. I always win. So we have the guy's girlfriend, the overprotective father. We have a colleague who he has got his job, he's lost his job because of this man. Or we have his girlfriend's jealous ex. Who do you think committed this murder? It could be any of them. Just just go, just go. Let's go with his father. Wow, yeah, it's like, it was actually his father. Yeah, life, life, is, life is that messed up. Parker Ben says dad. <laughs> you got it, high five. Girlfriend's father. Jealous ex. Uh, Ikechiku won with that one. It was actually... Do you know why I said the father? I want to know. Because she said the Parker Pen. Mm. The colleague. Was that Why? Parker Pen. Uh, nah. It was the father. Colleague. Oh, it was actually the overprotective father. Is that the Killing somebody for these reasons is, is, is stupid. I mean, well, if I have to pick one, it, it might have to be the ex-girlfriend. Uh, ex is, uh, <laughs> and we always hear crazy exes coming back. So, it was actually the overprotective father. Plot twist. The moment we've all been waiting for, we're about to head in and finally watch Catcher the movie. And let's hope it's as suspense-filled and thrilling as the cast and friends have promised. So, let's go. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for taking the time out to join us tonight. Um, Catch is an amazing film. Walter Banger is an amazing director. The cast is phenomenal. And thank you, Amstel Walter, for once again supporting Hollywood by coming to bring this premiere for all of us. Thank you, Amstel. And on that note, Walter Banger. <laughs> The stunning capital of Edo State welcomes the quintessentially modern film house cinema. Welcome to Bini, the heartbeat of Nigeria. Free movies for the first week. Watch this space. Film House Cinema, Bini, located at Uboa, opposite Uniban. See it, feel it, be it. We're fine with the information. If we need you again, we will call you. We will contact you. Yeah? Contact me. Me, I'm already sitting down. You asked me everything, of course. If I'm coming back, people will give me transport. Tony Bello. Not the woman husband with that. He was one of the last people to see her alive. You seem tense, Mr. Tony. Smoke? I'm not in the mood for all these games, officer. I'm a laughing. Detective. Tell us what happened on Wednesday the 27th. The day that your wife, Mrs. Abiodo Bello, was killed. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying nothing. Everyone will be interviewed in due time. Right now we're focusing on the nucleus of the people in her life while she was alive. And you believe I fall under that category? Why go tell reception and say I'm a suspect? What to be suspect now? You can't motive me. When you expect me to believe that, you have been lying to me since the beginning of this interview. Why would I want to kill my wife? I loved her. Are you sure, Mr. Blume? You dollar. What do you want to hear? Make I take a good swear. Ross, my God, for the time to see my husband kill her. My colleague no get leave That's what he wants you to think.
Oh my goodness, tonight's movie was so awesome. My goodness, it was amazing, it was brilliant. The camera angles were top notch. I can't even begin to describe it. But you know what? I'm sure you're guessing where Ye Wande is. Well, she's guilty. <laughs> She's guilty of the crime. I don't know, she's been incarcerated or something. And that's why I'm taking over. Hi. Yeah, my name is Tina So everybody, in case you're wondering. <laughs> and I'm taking over the show right now. I'm going to be having a chat with the cast, celebrities, the fans, and everybody that came out to check out the movie tonight. And I'll be finding out what they feel about the movie. I think the movie was pretty awesome, and I rated 10. Like, 10 over 10, it was that good. So come along with me, guys, as we have a chat. So how was tonight's movie? Oh, awesome. Awesome. Worry, you're wonderful. Oh, very nice movie. It was beautiful. Like, everything totally just made sense. It sort of puts you like on a, is it him? No, it's him. No, 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 no. I'm wrong. Oh, no. Are you sure? But it was a fantastic movie. Like, just trust me. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. I think so, too. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate tonight's movie? 20. 20, oh my god! On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate tonight's movie? Catch 15! Woo! We have a winner tonight! Yes, oh my goodness! Walter the banger? Catch her? How about everyone? Come out and see this movie. Come and oh see it. Oh my goodness! What do you think about tonight's movie? Well, I loved it. I didn't expect anything less from Walter Banga, so I'm really impressed and we need to all let the world know what we can do in Nigeria. I love it. It's such a step in the right direction. And I love what Alex said at the end. Nollywood is not where we want it to be, but we're not where we used to be. So, I mean, like, kudos to every single person that worked on the movie. I enjoyed it. So, I, I pretty much love everything that Wal does, and this was no exception. And everybody was stellar in it. But I know, I know we say these things sometimes, but this is definitely a must-see. Like, Nollywood has moved to another level. You will not even understand it until you see this film. Um, I'm not going to lie to you, I think this movie is totally amazing. Okay. It's uber lit, it's legit dope, I love it and I'll come back to the cinemas to pay and watch it again. Okay. Exactly. Amazing, I love people like you. Exactly. So I mean on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you, how would you rate the movie? I think the movie is, is an 8. Okay. Yeah, it is 8 because it, there's, there's always room for improvement. Okay. But being that 8 is still within the confines of excellence. Yeah, so the remaining two is just because we don't want to argue. <laughs> it's quite nice actually. I like uh, the suspense behind it. Um, the directors did a good job. I'm actually anticipating the movie. I like to see it. I thought it was amazing, it was smart, had a great twist. And I think everyone should go and see it. It's such an amazing film. Absolutely. It's really smartly done. And if you did, I thought it was really dealt well done, Walter. So the way you're doing your next film, oh. I'll at your boy. The stunning capital of Edo State welcomes the quintessentially modern film house cinema. Welcome to Bini, the heartbeat of Nigeria. Free movies for the first week. Watch this space. Film house cinema, Bini, located at Uboa, opposite Uniban. See it, feel it, be it. As you've heard from the reviews, everyone has something light and something nice to say about the movie. Personally, I say the movie was 10 over 10. It was very suspenseful and insightful. I think it's the best of its kind in Nigeria. Now, don't forget to still on to the Film House Show. And my name is Chino Saribai. Follow us on our social media platforms on Twitter and Instagram. We are at The Film House Show. And on YouTube, we are The Film House Show. My name is Chino Saribai, and I'm about to turn up. Follow me. My name is Wafai Fada. My name is Sheung Ajayi. My name is Casey Ejelanu. And you are watching The Film, the Film House, House TV Show. show. Let's, 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 let's.